uh, modern classification and uh, very interesting moment in a uh, uh, old classification too was uh, lymphoid organs lymphoid organs <clears throat> and uh, second part of the integral system first it's a uh, lymph uh, lymphoid organs today lecture and last lecture was uh, cardiovascular system and you remember last semester uh, short information about endocrine glands was present and we will uh, connect this information in a uh, next time when we uh, will uh, have lecture about uh, inter uh, systemic integration too so uh, cardiovascular system, you remember, it uh, consists of the heart and tubes that are used uh, corresponding liquid uh, with special functions, the blood and or lymph. And uh, <clears throat> in a cardiovascular system, near cardiovascular system, it's a lymphatic system. A really lymphatic system, it's a very often uh, you can uh, meet uh, in the future because lymphatic system and uh, immune system and uh, lymphatic organs, immune organs, it's uh, uh, some same. The term goes after the Latin word lympha, uh, the clean water, and uh, the Greek word of nympha, uh, the uh, bright. And uh, today um, we uh, sent to uh, telegram channel very interesting animal film about uh, nymphas it's a, a, a myth uh, before it uh, person and you can look this uh, anima in a telegram channel too lymphatic system is the most developed of the all vessels that uh, transport liquid and uh, moment uh, some videos I'm sorry thank you Start. Are you hearing? Yes. Yes. No, I don't hear a video. Without, uh, okay. Fluid balance and fat absorption. Uh, really, uh, when big portion of the fat, it's some problem uh, with lymph uh, circulation. And uh, microcirculatory bed. Microcirculatory bed, it's only arterial, precapillar, capillar, postcapillar, and venal. And uh, in a space between capillars, present fluid balance. Um, intestinal fluid. This is intestinal fluid, uh, big portion moving up the uh, lymph, uh, lymphatic vessels. Near skeletal muscles and uh, especially structure, it's a valve in the lymph capillaries. Same valve uh, present uh, in the veins too.
big pressure in the thoracic uh, relief uh, cage or in the thorax. Some problem it uh, may present uh, a special uh, disorders. It's a uh, lymphatitis. We will ask about this. It's a uh, leg with big size. <coughs> uh, maybe you. looked not only in the picture and using it live uh, this is person here it's a place uh cisterna hilly it's a place where starting uh circulation all limb with uh lower limb uh, pelvic cavity or uh, correct name abdominal pelvic cavity now and uh, starting in a, a thoracic duct, uh, moving all the lymph. So, uh, flu uh, fluid of the cycle, you remember cardiovascular system, it's a big and small circulation, and maybe you remember a third type of the circulation of the blood. Open the chat now and write in a third type of the circulation uh, blood in the human body. I replay. First, it's a big circulation to the organs. Second, it's a, um, a lung circulation of pulmonary uh, circuit. And what type of the third uh, 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 circulation do you know? Writing now in the chat, I'm waiting. Who will, who will first with answer? It's a very uh, important circulation because without this circulation, unreal uh, first and second. Yes, amazing big parts and systematic coronary, coronary. Yes, amazing. Uh, thank you so much, Atman, and uh, as a person who will uh, send uh, the first time this uh, answer. Your uh, and uh, lymphatic system, uh, lymphatic uh, circulation. It's a uh, starting uh, in the uh, microcirculatory bed. And you remember, uh, microcirculatory bed, it's a two types, gamma microcirculatory bed and uh, lympho microcirculatory bed. Uh, and uh, these uh, beds uh, together, it's a microcirculatory bed uh, without artery and vein. Uh, if used um, uh, word of the micro, it's a with microscope, uh, you understand this moment. Uh, and uh, some uh, intestinal spaces uh, near blood capillary. Uh, and this is region start, starting uh, lymphatic uh, ending or intel and uh, used uh, connecting with intestinal uh, liquid and uh, moving this liquid. What is a lympha? Uh, what does it mean? It's a uh, a liquid of the blood without uh, some uh, uh, cells of the blood. In a norm may present a small portion a lymphocyte. Uh, and uh, next time moving is uh, collecting lymph nodes to the, uh, to the lymph vessels, moving to the lymph node. And um, to the lymph node may present one, two, and more. Uh, vessels after uh, efferent uh, afferent vessels uh, efferent vessels uh, in the rules it's a one vessels and uh, you looked artery and vein present to the lymph uh, nodes because it's uh, for vascularization and uh, for a special functions this is uh, structure uh, and uh, if very simple uh, right lymphatic ducts it's a space where finished uh, uh, moving of the lymph with 
uh, I will uh, replay this information more times in this lecture. And uh, remember, please, limb with uh, half right part of the head, neck, uh, thorax, uh, and uh, uh, right of the upper limb, moving in a right lymphatic duct. And uh, this is duct, uh, it's a meeting two veins. Um, uh, venous sub subclavia vein and uh, uvular internal vein. It's a place uh, with name uh, venous angle uh, and uh, it's a place where all lymph uh, vessels moving in. This is uh, space. Next time uh, we'll start it in this is point brachiocephalic vein. Uh, lymphatic organs and immune function. Uh, lymphatic organs' main function is uh, to return excess tissue or fluid to blood vascular system, and lymphatic vessels collect tissue fluid. Immune function protect our body from foreign uh, organisms, uh, confers immunity to disease, and main components uh, for immune function it's a lymphocyte, lymphoid tissue, and lymphoid organs. Really, lymphatic organs, it's the same lymphocytes, uh, lymphatic, uh, lymph uh, lymphoid tissue, and lymphoid organs. Uh, and uh, time to time, used uh, uh, lymphatic system, uh, immune system, and uh, really in a human anatomy present on lymphatic organs with immune function. Uh, please uh, remember this information because it's very uh, important for uh, understanding in the physiology you will uh, study it. Uh, disorders of lymphatic system. Uh, really it's a lymphatic organs with uh, immune function. And uh, in a generally um, tonsils in a pharyngeal region, uh, and how many tonsils, tonsils uh, are you remembering this writing number? How many tonsils present uh, near uh, oral and nasal cavity or a pharynx? Please write in, uh, in a chat number. How many tonsils? Mistake, Musa, not two tonsils. Three, this is mistake. Number five, uh, it's in a picture, but it's a picture with mistake. I uh, especially demonstrate this is picture. Four, it's a true mistake. Uh, if four, you... Uh, Six, uh, Yoni, thank you so much. And I stop demonstration presentation and will uh, demonstrate a table. You remember very simple, uh, it's a, a structure palatum. Yes, palatum, palatinum, yes. Palatinum. What uh, types palatum do you remember? It's a, a palatum uh, durum and palatum mole, yes? Or soft palatine and hard palatine. Palatum, it's a um, line between our oral cavity, this is will present oral cavity, and uh, nasal cavity. And if you remember, nasal cavity have nasal septum, yes? And a uh, very important moment, uh, two harness. Harness, it's an opening when finished. Uh, nasal cavity uh, in a uh, uh, posterior region. And uh, this is a structure, uh, especially for understanding where located this is tonsils, yeah. Uh, first time uh, we uh, will draw in tongue, yes, and in a uh, 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 finish tongue near uh, fauces, and it's a what is structure here? Number one, maybe you remember. It's a lingula. It's a small tongue in the oral cavity, yes. 
uh, when uh, open the mouth and uh, revision in the oral cavity, it's a, a small uh, structure moving when uh, have uh, uh, flex uh, um, movie of the uh, mouse uh, muscle uh, muscles of the tongue and uh, muscles of the uh, soft palatine. And uh, near this structure present uh, six. Uh, Seran, very good writing in. Pharyngeal tonsils. I will write in with number. Uh, this is without number, yes, for remembering. And here will present uh, number one. Uh, number one, it's a uh, connecting with upper walls of the pharynx. You uh, remember pharynx have nasopharynx, oropharynx, and next time uh, laryngopharynx after uh, uh, oral part after fauces. And um, next time, uh, two tubarial tonsil here. This is tubarial tonsil uh, two and number three. Why this is uh, tonsils have name to burial? You can switch on microphone and uh, comment uh, very good. To burial. What does it mean? Uh, tuba auditiva. Auditive uh, tube. It's a, uh, this is a to burial uh, tonsil, uh, tubal tonsil, uh, located near auditive tube connection with tympanic cavity. It's um, uh, uh, in the uh, pyramid part uh, of the sphenoid bone. Okay, and next time, uh, near uh, uh, palatum, here and uh, here, uh, number uh, four and number five. It's tonsils with name uh, palatine tonsils, please remember. And in the radix of the uh, tongue, located number six, it's a uh, lingual uh, tonsils together, one uh, and six. It's an unpeer uh, tonsils, please remember. And peer tonsils, uh, it's a tubarial or tubal and uh, uh, palatine uh, tonsils. And a very interesting moment if uh, together. We write in uh, this is uh, cycle, yes. It uh, will be a uh, cycle of the uh, Piragov Valdeir. Piragov uh, and Valdeir, it's a scientist who uh, subscribes this structure. Piragov, it's a uh, uh, Russia uh, scientist, and Valdeir, maybe you find some information about Valdeir you can uh, represent uh, some uh, short information in a practical lesson with your practical teacher. Okay, and you remember two uh, peer tonsils and two unpeer. Together, uh, it's uh, some variant, if you write in number three, it will be correct because three name, yes? Paringal, uh, uh, it's a, uh, three parts in a one uh, region up palatine and uh, uh, inferior part of the palatine. Three here, three here. Next one, number four. Number four, it's a two uh, may present correct because num uh, name, pringal, uh, lingual, uh, tubal uh, and uh, palatine tonsils. Number four, five, uh, it's a not connect with uh, this structure, yes. And uh, number six, it's a, a full correct because uh, here absent, for example, uh, in this is picture, what uh, uh, tonsils, it's a lingual, yeah. Tonsil uh, in the pharyngeal region, uh, uh, two palatine, two, uh, two palatine, two, uh, to, uh, two burial, and uh, in a, a our tongue uh, will present too. So next time, uh, it's uh, not all uh, immune organs and 
diamonds in a thorax. Most activity during use, it's a very big size in a child, but in a, uh, old people may absent this structure. And uh, after 60, 70 years old, uh, this is uh, thymus may present with form in a, a small person, the fat, really. And uh, spleen uh, and pair patches in intestine. You remember differences between, for example, uh, parts of the small intestine uh, between duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. And uh, in the ileum present, especially structure aggregate uh, uh, lymph uh, nodules. And in appendix, and in appendix present big portion of the lymph uh, nodes uh, too. Lymph tissue, uh, three types of the lymph tissue. First time it's a diffuse lymphatic tissue. Uh, no capsule present found in connective tissue is almost all organs. Uh, and uh, lymphatic nodes, uh, no capsule uh, present nodules. Uh, oval shaped masses found uh, singly or in uh, clusters and lymphatic organs, it's a capsule present. It's lymph nodes, uh, spleen and thymus. Uh, and uh, it's variant when you can uh, think in, for example, uh, what is lymphatic nodules? Uh, time to time now in the street in Ukraine, a uh, big person uh, snow present, yes? And uh, uh, small snowing uh, one, it's uh, one noodles. And if in a one horizontal plate, uh, its uh, structure will be located, it's same with uh, lymphatic noodles. If big person, this is a snow in a one plate, but uh, this is Persian uh, snow connection with one region, it will be, uh, for example, uh, lymphatic uh, nodules uh, with capsule. And, uh, and uh, as a variant, it's uh, tonsils. Tonsils, it's a very interesting structure. Uh, and uh, this structure, it's a um, structure where present uh, very important uh, uh, for understanding it's uh, uh, all models uh, in a uh, cycle of the perigophal there have very interesting structure it's a uh, here yeah and uh, this is part health capsule what connect with walls this is uh, parts, uh, this is a uh, site without capsule. This is with, without capsule, without capsule, and uh, capsular and uh, encapsular uh, region. And here with capsule. Uh, and uh, differences when uh, you uh, will look in a no nodules, uh, nodes. Yeah, nodes, all nodes with a capsule. Next time we will uh, look in this picture. And uh, lymph uh, structure, lymphatic capillary, maintain fluid balance, protect body from the infection and disease. Uh, lymphatic capillaries, time to time, use green color for uh, drawing in the atlas in the books, uh, this is structure. But as a variant, it's a yellow color. Uh, and remember, please, in uh, uh, some scientist, uh, scientific uh, literature, you can uh, uh, find structure, a picture with a yellow and green color for drawing of the lymphatic capillary and lymphatic vessels. Here, yellow color you looked, and uh, this is a, a sectional view where uh, present uh, Typical uh, vessels tri triad. It's a one present artery, vein, and lymphatic vessels. It's standard uh, triad for uh, organs in a different region of the human body. 
and uh, lymphatic vessels very interesting structure with valves with uh, some layers uh, with smooth muscle uh, and uh, this is structure here triad uh, triada uh, from lymphatic capillaries you can uh, look to uh, moving toward the nose system and uh, uh, artery blood moving in the other side uh, and it's a very simple schematic for uh, vessels and heart uh, correct uh, name this is a picture it's a not cardiovascular system because present uh, lymphatic vessels uh, lymph nodes uh, and a big portion of the um, really uh, pumping of the heart with uh, section of the heart uh, maybe you know what is chamber is the heart uh, writing now in the chat please here what is chamber of the heart we are starting of the aorta what is chamber of the heart please write in now in the uh, chat Here, left ventricle, thank you, Musa. It's a really because uh, biggest size of the uh, wall in the heart, it's a, a left ventricle. And I looked a uh, few person ready to dialogue with me in a lecture. It's a very good and uh, very simple schematic. It's a was in a, a practice lesson uh, if, uh, where you will start uh, lymphoid organs and lymph vessels. It's uh, some control work for you uh, where you write in uh, some structure where starting lymphatic circulation. And very interesting moment, it's a not continue. Uh, if, for example, uh, we understand um, artery uh, uh, artery arteria artery next time arteriola uh, precapillar postcapillar connecting with venula and it's a cycle uh, very interesting moment it's a lymphatic capillary uh, starting same with finger it's an ending point of the lymphatic capillary it's a not connect really with uh, different other vessels and uh, lymphatic capillary uh, continue uh, to the lymphatic vessels. Next time, lymphatic nodes, it's a, um, a special structure for uh, clean of the, cleaning uh, of the lymph and lymphatic vessels. Afferents, efferents, uh, next time, lymphatic trunk, collecting duct and to the supplavian vein, supplavian vein connect uh, with jugular uh, internal vein, it's a venous angle. Here, uh, green color for example, uh, for lymphatic capillary and uh, starting near capillary bed, hemocapillary bed, uh, together hemocapillary bed and lymph or microcapillary bed, together it's a capillary bed. Uh, and um, in a Ending point, this is lymphatic capillary, uh, will uh, start um, especially uh, ending with, you looked uh, filaments, uh, hold the connective tissue and movement uh, of the uh, uh, tissue fluid uh, to the uh, epithelium, after epithelium and uh, flow of lymph uh, in this is ending point. Uh, here, lymphatic capillary, uh, lymph, and uh, this is intestinal, with intestinal spaces. Uh, uh, this is liquid uh, with uh, fluid of the uh, blood moving uh, without in the norm uh, cells of the uh, blood uh, to the lymphatic uh, capillary. And uh, it's a special electronic microscopy of the lymphatic capillary with valves. Lymphatic uh, organs or lymphatic system, uh, lymphatic vessels collect tissue fluid from loose connective tissue, carry fluid to great veins in the trunk. Uh, fluid flows uh, on 
only toward to the uh, towards the heart. Once tissue fluid uh, uh, is within lymphatic vessel, it is termed lymph. And a lymph uh, uh, function of the lymphatic vessels really it's a collect access flu uh, tissue fluid and blood proteins return tissue fluid on blood proteins to bloodstream and uh, lymphatic uh, system consists of with lymphatic vessels lymphoid tissue and lymphoid organs uh, travel lymphatic vessels it's a travel along with blood vessels lymphatic vessels start with lymphatic capillaries and uh, with lymphatic capillaries uh, i replace this information lymphatic collecting vessels to lymph nodes and uh, after lymph nodes lymphatic vessels to lymphatic duct and uh, this is duct finish in a venous angle right and left uh, it's a, a replay as a uh, picture with bleeding ending vessels and permeable uh, to proteins in cells uh, the main function collect access large proteins and uh, tissue fluid uh, it's a really lymph, uh, special lymph capillaries. It's a lactals collect um, uh, digested fats uh, and big person uh, fat in a food. It's a, uh, especially uh, structure in a lymph will present too. Uh, really, we will talk about uh, scientist Kaspar Azali who opened uh, this is vessels sometime. Uh, it's very interesting history moment too. So uh, connection to veins, uh, it's a right, it's a left uh, venous angle. And uh, very often students don't remember where finish a big circulation. Big circulation finish in a uh, right or left ventricle atrium. Okay, uh, right atrium, and uh, it, this is place finish two uh, veins. It's a uh, vena cava inferior and vena cava superior. And uh, time to time, students don't remember uh, information about where uh, what vessels connecting for vena cava uh, superior. Uh, remember, please, it's a brachiocephalic vein uh, right and brachiocephalic uh, vein uh, left uh, and for uh, brachiocephalic vein meeting two vein um, vena jugularis interna jugular interna uh, vein uh, right uh, right and left uh, for uh, sorry uh, right uh, uh, jugular inter internal jugular uh, jugular vein uh, and right uh, subclavian uh, vein meeting and uh, starting of the right brachiocephalic uh, vein. And in the left part, uh, same. Uh, when meeting uh, internal jugular vein uh, left and uh, subclavian vein left, uh, starting brachiocephalic uh, left uh, brachiocephalic vein. And uh, here, and here it's a venous uh, blockage of the lymph drainage. It's a, a lymphode lymphedema swelling in the tissue due to humor pressure, parasites for surgery. Uh, it's a picture in a real elephantiasis. Uh, it's a big portion of the uh, problem with uh, lymphatic vessels. And a uh, very big uh, role of the lymph uh, vessel in a metastasis. Do you know metastasis? It's uh, really when um, some untypical cells moving in a different other uh, organs. And uh, for example, axillary lymph of the nodes, lymphatic mammillary glands, mama in uh, Latin language. Uh, can uh, moving in uh, this uh, right uh, region here it's a uh, if you uh, now write in some information and have a notebooks please uh, draw in very simple uh, variant for remembering area drainage by 
lymph, right lymphatic duct, the right lymphatic duct here, it's a, in a right lymphatic uh, angle, uh, venous angle. It's a, a lymphatic ducts right uh, where I'm finish in this region, and all lymph is half part of the uh, right part of the head, neck, uh, uh, chest, and uh, upper lymph, uh, right. Right upper limb when moving in this venous angle. Uh, in uh, uh, your uh, for your uh, drawing, if uh, you will use very simple uh, method, it's a uh, head. It's a with mouse. Sorry, but not very good picture. But if you uh, Replay with me. Uh, it's very good. Uh, it's a big hand, yes. But uh, drawing here and here, and uh, some structure with different color for understand the lymph is the right part will finish. Uh, it's a not full same. Uh, next time I will use special desk, but uh, I. Hope you understand what I thinking for you. Lymphoid organs include lymph nodes, spleen, thymus, tonsils, and function host uh, defense eliminates uh, abnormal sick uh, uh, ages or cancerous cells and pathogens. Uh, in the lymph organs, uh, in the norm, uh, stopped. Uh, moving this uh, structure with uh, untypical uh, form and uh, uh, microbes and bacteria, and uh, lymph nodes, well, and lymph nodes is caused by expansion in the number of the lymphocyte uh, in a uh, spleen site of uh, immune uh, surveillance and uh, response uh, removes uh, debris, foreign matter, to toxins, bacteria, virus, and all blood cells. You know, uh, one function of the spleen, it's a, a place where uh, finished uh, uh, life of the erythrocytes uh, readily subject uh, to uh, rupture of mechanical trauma. And uh, thymus, uh, it's a thymus in a newborn child, uh, very big uh, size. Uh, it's a thymus in an old person. Uh, when uh, made absent, this is organs really in an old person because uh, change to the fat. And uh, tonsils, tonsils, uh, we uh, uh, together with you, and drawing some structure in the uh, tonsils of the uh, lingual or uh, tonsil of the tongue and uh, two tonsils of the palatine. In the upper region of the palatum, uh, will present uh, uh, pharyngeal tonsils and uh, tuberia tonsils. Here it's a lateral view, yeah? Pharyngeal uh, tonsil in the upper region, in the nasal, uh, Pharynx uh, in the up wall of the uh, pharynx present pharyngeal tonsil. Next time, uh, after uh, palatine, uh, palate uh, present palatine tonsil, and in the uh, radix of the tongue present lingual tonsil. And what is the opening? It's a, a opening uh, uh, auditive tube. And near auditive tube, small portion, uh, uh, two bowel tonsils present too. This is structure of lymph nodes. Uh, it's uh, tonsils with capsular and without capsule structure, uh, covered by epithelium. Uh, pathogens get into the tonsil creep. Uh, and uh, here, the tonsils too. Uh, it's problem with tonsils, yes, uh, big size uh, and. Uh, it's uh, if uh, big problem with tonsils and inflammation more than two uh, times in a year, it's uh, a reason when uh, this is tonsil delayed with uh, uh, adeno uh, adenoma, uh, 
it's when uh, delayed and cutting uh, in a surgery, uh, this is structure. Orders uh, of lymphatic vessels, lymph capillary, smallest lymph vessels, first uh, to receive uh, lymph. Next time collecting uh, vessels collect from lymph capillaries and lymph nodes are uh, scattered along collection vessels. Um, lymph nodes uh, scatter around collecting vessels, uh, lymph trunk collect lymph from collecting vessels, and lymph ducts uh, empty into veins in the neck. Uh, and uh, here you can look in a uh, starting lymphatic vessels, lymph nodes, lymphatic uh, duct. Um, thoracic duct, it's the biggest uh, duct where uh, connection all lymphatic vessels with uh, lower limb, uh, left uh, upper limb and left part of the uh, uh, thoracic cavity, uh, left part of the head and left part of the neck. Uh, and uh, this is lymphatic drainage of the mammary axillary region, uh, lymphatic drainage in a, a mammary and axillary region too in the right part. Drainage of the thorax, uh, you looked where I started cisterna hili. Cisterna hili, it's a, a starting point of the thoracic duct. Uh, and this is thoracic duct finishing and connecting with in the venous angle of the left. Left venous angle where meeting with venous blood too. Uh, and uh, lymph flows uh, at low pressure and uh, speed moves uh, uh, moved along, along by rhythmic uh, contraction of lymphatic vessels uh, 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 flow aids uh, aided by skeleton pump thoracic pump aids uh, flow from abdominal thoracic cavity valves prevents back for uh, Backward flow and uh, next time uh, repeatedly flowing blood in subclavian veins uh, where starting uh, where located connection with uh, uvular antenna vein and uh, starting uh, venous angle located draws lymph into it and uh, next time uh, function of the lymphatic system it's a the intracellular fluid uh, is socket through the lymphatic capillaries. It provides the transfer of lymphocytes, sometimes erythrocytes, and uh, even some uh, antigens. But in the norm, it's a uh, very clean, uh, without lymph, uh, without uh, blood cells uh, structure. Uh, lymph is a product of the filtration of the blood. Really, uh, lymph uh, composed of proteins, uh, carbohydrates, fat, salts, hormones, white blood cells in the norm, and uh, lymphocytes. Uh, the lymphatic system present a big amount of lymphatic capillaries, uh, lymphocapillar network, lymphatic vessels, and lymphatic trunks. Here, it's a uh, short part of the in the thoracic cavity. This is vessels, but Big portion lymph nodes located in all regions and in all cavity and near all internal organs. Uh, this is venous angle uh, right and uh, venous angle uh, left when a uvular internal and subclavian vein. Next time here it's a bracket cephalic vein. So uh, different pictures were in a starting network uh, microcirculatory bed um, and uh, lymph nodes uh, have name uh, regional lymph nodes. In a different regions uh, located big portion lymph nodes and uh, this is lymphatic nodes. Uh, it's a one point where uh, moving lymph uh, in the human body. Lymph nodes uh, cleanse the lymph of pathogens. Human body contains around uh, 500 and uh, superficial lymph nodes located in a cervical, axillary and inguinal region. Uh, deep nodes at the thorac uh, tracheal, bronchial, aortic, iliac uh, 
lymph nodes, uh, big portion lymph nodes located near stomach, uh, duodenum, pancreas, and other organs too. Uh, and here uh, I replay uh, afferent lymph vessel, lymphatic vessels. It may present not only one, two, and more uh, may present two. After moving lymph, uh, uh, after uh, lymph nodes, uh, afferent lymphatic vessels in a standard pizza one vessels, next time meeting with uh, different other part in a moving in a duct. It's a capsule of lymph uh, nodes uh, in a histological preparate and the location uh, lymph nodes in a uh, big part of the human body. And uh, it's, uh, for example, a human body without skin and uh, big portion veins and uh, yellow color, it's a lymph capillary and vessels and well located uh, lymphatic nodes in a different cavity in a uh, elbow uh, uh, axillary uh, inguinal region in the external and big portion. This is uh, lymph nodes located to near uh, um, near neck uh, and near mandible uh, and uh, regional, why name regional lymph nodes? Because first time um, uh, have reaction to different inflammation, it's a really um, regional lymphoid, lymphatic nodes uh, near organs with inflammation. For example, if a problem in the oral cavity for example, this tooth, uh, it's a carious, yes? Uh, long uh, time carious may present inflammation of the uh, regional lymph nodes because uh, bacteria and mi microorganisms with this is carious region moving to uh, uh, this is lymph nodes. As a variant, it's a when present pharyngitis or inflammation of mucous uh, layer of pharynx. It's present to some variant where uh, have problem with these organs and bacteria uh, and microorganism and viruses may uh, move in after lymph to the nodes in this region. As a variant, uh, problem in the uh, region in the pelvic cavity. For example, cystitis, inflammation of the uh, urinary uh, cystis, yes, but, uh, and uh, regional inflammation, regional region, it's an inguinal uh, regions. Uh, of lymph uh, nodes will uh, have bigger size in the norm and uh, palpation. It's a when I used uh, fingers to uh, touch uh, uh, skin near this is lymph nodes, it will be with problem. And uh, here, yeah, uh, lymphatic uh, capillary, same with finger in a starting next time, lymphatic vessels. Uh, lymphatic vessels collect uh, to afferent lymphatic vessels to the lymphatic nodes and efferent uh, uh, next time after uh, these uh, nodes. Uh, 1622, Caspar Azali found the vessel in the mesenterium of the small intestine uh, that were filled with milk-like fluid. He called them uh, the milk vessels. Really, uh, it uh, was in a dog, it's an animal. Uh, and uh, this is uh, animal uh, have big portion food with fat in uh, uh, to the, this time. And uh, this milk like fluid because big portion fat in the lymph vessels was present. It's a Casper Azali, very interesting person uh, really in the history of the human anatomy. And as a variant, it's a matter atlas, uh, so uh, type for coloring of the uh, lymphatic uh, vessels and duct. 
it's a very present white color. Why white color? Because white milk vessels really in an opening. Yeah, Yoni, and uh, I looked, are you uh, tired? And I'm tired too, 10 minutes and we are finished. Uh, thank you so much. But it's a very big portion information in this lecture. I'm very quickly uh, speaking today. Lymphatic vessels, intraorganic, uh, superficial, uh, and pro uh, profound or deep lymphatic vessels, profound, profound um, have collateral ways, and it's very important for understand well located uh, vessels and nodes and uh, all um, lymph with organs uh, moving after nodes and nodes really uh, located in a cavity and uh, some spaces in a uh, thoracic and abdominal pelvic cavity too. Uh, lymph capillary in a, a limbs, uh, big portion after skin, uh, superficial and uh, lymph nodes are secondary lymphoid organs that are located on the lymph uh, ways, uh, especially uh, superficial, cervical, axillary, and inguinal. Deep groups, uh, I replay uh, tracheal, bronchial, aortic, and, and iliac. In the iliac, uh, near uh, portion of the uh, two arteries, it's a, a common, uh, <laughs> Uh, iliac uh, right and left uh, artery and dr uh, drainage uh, superior right part and this is color yes uh, one of four of part of the body it's a, a right lymphatic duct it's a green color here 